Hello, I'm Jada Montemrano with Red Carpet Report at the Paley Center for the season two premiere of Angie Tribeca. So how are you feeling that you just came off the high from season one, coming right into season two? I'm still high. <laughs> um, I feel super excited because season one, we put out this weird show and um, like I, I talked with Steve Carell and Nancy Carell about the show and we were all kind of saying, this, this is things weird. We don't know what people are going to make of this thing. <laughs> it's a little surreal. And then when people, like all the sort of critical feedback and the people were saying they loved it, it was, it was so satisfying because it's like when you like a weird thing and then you find other people in the world that like that weird thing too. Um, so we had an incredibly good time doing season one and then season two is like even a step more absurd and surreal. Like, we kind of took on sort of the Law & Order, CSI, classic procedural shows in season one. And then because all of us were, who were involved in the show were watching like the cable shows like Fargo and True Detective and The Killing and all these <laughs> interesting, dark, moody shows, um, Breaking Bad is a big favorite of ours. We, we, we was like, what if in season two we kind of went like moody or darker, like getting into the, you know, into the cops' heads and, you know, overarching conspiracy theories and narratives and like serialized and too complicated to even understand, which is like True Detective, like what happened? I'm not, I can't explain it. Um, so we're, that's what we're doing in season two. So we're excited to like, here's a new batch of cookies that I hope people will like. And what's, what was the inspiration behind season one originally? Like. Where did it all come from, especially like the smaller crazy antics that are in there? I can tell you exactly where it came from. So Steve and Nancy Carell uh, were improvisers, um, and uh, they're from Massachusetts, but I believe they met at Second City in Chicago. And uh, they come from a comedy improv background, and they are also married. So you imagine in their house, they're <laughs> always like improving stuff back and forth and just saying dumb things to each other. So they started saying... Angie Tribeca to one another. Like, Angie Tribeca, Angie Tribeca makes an arrest. Angie Tribeca makes the bus. They just became infatuated with this name. And they thought, that would be the, a great name for, like, a tough cop named Angie Tribeca, <laughs> like a great show. And so they went out and they uh, pitched it to around town. And some people were like, we have no idea what you're talking about. Like, it's absurd. It makes no sense. And uh, TBS was like, yes, we want to do that. We love that. And so they wrote the pilot and they got Rashida and they shot it and it got picked up to series and then I, I came on board. They met with a bunch of people to like be the showrunner of the show um, and I have a, a fair amount of experience producing TV and uh, writing and directing and uh, so I got involved and then we did the 10 episodes of season one and now we're going to season two. That's how, that's exactly the story of how it happened, exactly. Well nice and congratulations on season Thank two. You. It was so nice talking with you. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more. Also, leave us a comment of who you would like to see guest star in Angie Tribeca, and keep a lookout for season two.